Have you ever felt a deep, incomprehensible ache in your soul, a longing for something or someone you can't quite grasp? Could it be twin flame separation sickness? Welcome to a journey of soulful understanding, a venture into the depths of the human spirit. Today we are exploring the concept of twin flame separation sickness, a profound feeling of loss and longing that transcends the physical realm. Imagine being connected to another soul so deeply that your spirits are essentially mirror images of each other, a bond so intense it's like gazing into a cosmic mirror. These are your twin flames. But what happens when these flames are separated? The result is a unique type of heartache, a spiritual ailment we refer to as twin flame separation sickness. It's a pain that seeps into your very being, a longing that echoes through the corridors of your soul. If these thoughts resonate with you, it's possible you're experiencing twin flame separation sickness. Let's delve into the symptoms. The first sign of twin flame separation sickness is an emotional roller coaster. Picture this. Your emotions are like a ship being tossed on a stormy sea. One moment you're riding high on the waves of immense joy, the next you're plummeting into the depths of profound sadness. It's as if you're caught in a tempest, unable to find your bearings, unable to anchor yourself to anything stable. This emotional turbulence is a key hallmark of the twin flame separation sickness. It's as if your emotions have a life of their own, independent of your control. One minute you're on cloud nine, the next you're in the depths of despair. The pendulum of your emotional state swings wildly with no apparent cause or predictability. You might feel a surge of happiness so intense that it feels like your heart might burst. It's an ecstasy so profound, so pure that it seems to envelop your entire being. But just as quickly, this elation can give way to a deep, pervasive sadness. It's as if a shadow has fallen over your heart, blotting out all light, all joy. This sadness isn't just an ordinary feeling of being down or blue. It's a melancholy so profound that it seems to seep into your very soul. But why does this happen? Well, the emotional roller coaster is a reflection of the deep spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. When you're separated from your twin flame, it's as if a part of you is missing. This creates an emotional imbalance, a disturbance in your emotional equilibrium. And this isn't something that you can just shrug off or ignore. It's not a case of mind over matter. The emotions are too intense, too overwhelming. They demand to be felt, to be acknowledged. So remember, if you're experiencing this emotional roller coaster, it's not a sign of weakness or instability. Rather, it's a testament to the depth of your connection with your twin flame. It's a sign of the profound love that binds you two together, a love so powerful that it can shake you to your very core. This emotional instability is a common sign of twin flame separation sickness. The second symptom is physical discomfort. This is a sign that often surprises people, but it's actually quite common. The pain of separation from your twin flame isn't just emotional. It can manifest physically as well. Imagine the intensity of the bond you share with your twin flame. It's a connection that resonates on every level of your being, from your soul to your physical body. So when that bond is severed or strained, it's not unusual for your body to react. Common physical symptoms include headaches, fatigue, and insomnia. You might find yourself unable to sleep, no matter how exhausted you are. Or perhaps you're sleeping too much, finding it hard to rouse yourself from your dreams. In either case, it's as though your body is protesting the separation, refusing to function normally without the presence of your twin flame. Headaches can be particularly prevalent. These aren't just your run-of-the-mill headaches either. They can be intense, persistent, and resistant to the usual remedies. It's as if your body is echoing the ache in your soul, amplifying it until you can't ignore it. And then there's fatigue. This isn't just the tiredness that comes from a lack of sleep, but a bone-deep weariness, a draining of your energy that seems to come from the very core of your being. It's as though the separation from your twin flame is sapping your vitality, leaving you feeling drained and listless. It's important to remember, though, that these symptoms are not a punishment. They're not a sign that you've done something wrong or that you're being tested. Rather, they're your body's way of expressing the emotional pain of separation. They're a physical manifestation of the deep 
soul-level yearning for reunion. It's essential to listen to your body during this time. Take care of yourself. Rest when you need to. Seek medical advice if the symptoms persist. Remember, this is a journey, and like all journeys, it has its challenges. But with patience, understanding, and self-care, you can navigate these physical symptoms and move closer to reuniting with your twin flame. These physical symptoms are your body's way of expressing the emotional pain of separation. The third symptom is a spiritual awakening. As intriguing as it sounds, this isn't about some divine intervention or an ethereal encounter. No, it's about you and your inner world. When twin flames separate, it often sets the stage for a profound inward journey. It's like an invitation to dive deep into your soul, to explore and understand who you truly are. You may start to feel more connected to the universe as though you're part of a grand cosmic design. This may not be a feeling of grandeur or superiority, but rather a humble realization that you, like every other being, are an integral part of the vast cosmic tapestry. You might experience moments of profound clarity where the complexities of life suddenly seem beautifully simple and the universal truths become crystal clear. This spiritual awakening can also lead to a deeper understanding of oneself. You start peeling away the layers of your identity that society, family, or even you yourself have constructed over the years. It's like looking into a mirror and seeing your true reflection for the first time. You might find hidden strengths, buried passions, or even unacknowledged weaknesses. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. It's all part of the journey of self-discovery. You may also find yourself drawn towards spiritual practices, meditation, yoga, mindfulness, prayer, or simply spending time in nature. These practices can provide a source of comfort and grounding during this challenging time, helping you to stay centered and calm amidst the storm of separation. But remember, spiritual awakening is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. There might be days when you feel enlightened and in tune with the universe, and other days when everything seems confusing and overwhelming. And that's okay. It's all part of the journey. So, if you're experiencing this spiritual awakening, take it as a sign that you're growing and evolving through the experience of separation. You're not just surviving, you're transforming, blossoming into the person you're meant to be. Embrace this journey with all its ups and downs, for it is shaping you, molding you into your truest self. This spiritual awakening is a sign that you're growing and evolving through the experience of separation. The fourth symptom is psychic experiences. This is a fascinating symptom and not as far-fetched as it might initially sound. Many individuals who experience twin flame separation report a heightened sense of psychic awareness. This can manifest in various ways, but some of the most common include telepathic communication and vivid dreams about their twin flame. Telepathic communication might seem like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's a phenomenon that's been reported by countless individuals going through twin flame separation. This isn't about hearing voices or having full-blown conversations in your mind. Rather, it's an intuitive knowing, a sudden clarity of thought that feels as though it's been transmitted directly from your twin flame. You might find yourself thinking about them intensely and then receiving a message or call from them. It's as if your thoughts have somehow reached out and touched theirs. Then there are the dreams. Oh, the dreams. These are not your run-of-the-mill everyday dreams. They are vivid, intense, and emotionally charged. You might dream of reuniting with your twin flame, of having conversations that resolve past issues, or of simply being in their presence. These dreams can feel so real that you wake up with a lingering sense of their presence, a feeling that can stay with you throughout the day. Now, it's important to note that these psychic experiences aren't limited to telepathy and dreams. Some individuals report a heightened intuition across the board, a deeper connection to the spiritual realm, and even prophetic visions or precognitive dreams. These psychic experiences can be disconcerting, especially if you're not used to such things. But remember, they're not a cause for alarm. Instead, consider them as a sign, a beacon of sorts. These psychic experiences can be a sign that your twin flame is reaching out to you on a spiritual level. So, tune in, pay attention, and see what messages the universe might be sending your way.
The fifth symptom is a deep yearning and longing for your twin flame. Imagine an ache, a constant pull in the center of your chest. It's like a magnet, always drawing you towards something that feels so familiar, so integral to your being. This is not just missing someone. It's a profound yearning and longing, a need that goes beyond the physical, beyond the rational. This is the fifth symptom of twin flame separation sickness, an intense desire to reunite with your twin flame. You might find yourself constantly thinking about your twin flame, replaying memories in your mind or dreaming about future encounters. Even in the midst of a crowd, you might feel an inexplicable sense of loneliness, a feeling of being incomplete. It's as if a part of you is missing, and that part is with your twin flame. This yearning is not about attachment or dependency. It's not about needing someone else to complete you. It's about recognizing that your soul is intrinsically connected to another, and that separation from your twin flame feels like a tear in the fabric of your very being. This longing can be intense. It can be all-consuming but it is also a testament to the strength of the bond between twin flames. It's a sign of the deep love and connection you share, a love that transcends time and space, a love that is eternal. It's important to remember, however, that this yearning is not a punishment. It's not a curse. It's a signpost, guiding you towards growth and spiritual evolution. It's a call to delve deeper into your own soul, to heal your wounds, and to prepare yourself for the eventual reunion with your twin flame. In the grand scheme of the universe, this separation is but a brief moment, a phase of preparation, a time for individual growth. So while you yearn and long for your twin flame, also yearn and long for your own growth, for your own evolution. Remember, the reunion with your twin flame is not just about coming together. It's about coming together as two whole, healed, evolved souls. This yearning and longing is a sign of the deep love and connection between twin flames. The sixth symptom is seeing signs and synchronicities. In the vast universe that we inhabit, everything is interconnected, and this is especially true for twin flames. The bond between twin flames transcends physical space, and even when separated, there are signs and synchronicities that remind them of each other. These reminders can be subtle or blatant, but they all serve the same purpose, to keep the connection alive and strong. You may find yourself coming across your twin flame's name everywhere. It could be on a billboard as you're driving, in a book you're reading, or even in a casual conversation you overhear. This is not just a coincidence, but a sign from the universe that your twin flame is still very much a part of your life. Another common occurrence is seeing repeated numbers. This is a phenomenon known as angel numbers, and they hold significant spiritual meaning. You might find yourself frequently looking at the clock at exactly 1111, or seeing the number 22 in various places. These numbers are not random, but messages from the universe guiding you towards your twin flame. It's essential to understand that these signs and synchronicities are not mere coincidences. They are the universe's way of communicating with us, using a language that transcends words. It is a form of guidance, reminding us of our spiritual path and our connection with our twin flame. These signs and synchronicities may seem strange and inexplicable at first, but once you understand their purpose, they become a source of comfort. They serve as reminders that even though you may be physically separated from your twin flame, the bond between you remains unbroken. So the next time you come across your twin flame's name unexpectedly, or see those repeated numbers, know that it's the universe nudging you, reminding you of your profound connection. Don't dismiss them as mere coincidences, but embrace them as signs of your ongoing spiritual journey. These signs and synchronicities are the universe's way of reminding you of your twin flame. The seventh and final symptom is feeling stuck or lost. This is an experience that can be all too real for those who have separated from their twin flame. Imagine walking through a dense forest, the trees towering high above, their leafy canopy blocking out the sun. You have a map in your hand, but no matter how much you squint at it, the lines and symbols make no sense. Everything looks the same and you feel a deep sense of despair creeping in. 
That, my friends, is what it feels like to be stuck or lost without your twin flame. It's like being trapped in a maze with no exit in sight. You're running around in circles, chasing your own tail, and it feels as though you're getting nowhere. The world is moving forward, but you're standing still, stuck in the same place, unable to make progress. This feeling of being stuck or lost can manifest in various ways. It could be a lack of motivation or direction in life. Perhaps you've lost interest in things you once loved, or you're finding it difficult to make decisions, big or small. It could be a feeling of being disconnected from the world around you, like you're watching life pass by from behind a glass wall. You might even feel as though you're stuck in the past, unable to let go of the memories of your twin flame. It's like a movie reel playing over and over in your mind, and you're the captive audience, forced to watch the same scenes on repeat. This struggle to move forward can be incredibly challenging. It's like trying to swim against a strong current, exhausting and seemingly impossible. But it's important to remember that this is just a symptom, a sign of the separation sickness, and not a permanent state of being. So, if you're feeling stuck or lost, know that you're not alone. Many have walked this path before you, and many will walk it after. Take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and remember to be gentle with yourself. The journey towards healing and reconnection is not a race, but a marathon. Feeling stuck or lost can be a sign that you're struggling to cope with the separation. To summarize, twin flame separation sickness is a deep, soul-level ache that manifests in various ways. We've journeyed through the seven symptoms that this profound connection can bring about. Each one a unique manifestation of the deep love and bond that exists between twin flames. First, we discuss the emotional roller coaster that accompanies this separation, the highs and lows, the joy and sorrow. This emotional turmoil is a reflection of the intense feelings shared between twin flames. It's not just a simple case of missing someone, it's a profound longing that resonates deep within your soul. Then, we delved into the physical discomfort that can come with this separation. From headaches to heartaches, these physical symptoms are a tangible representation of the emotional and spiritual strain of being apart from your twin flame. The third symptom we explored was the spiritual awakening. This is a journey of self-discovery and growth, a process that often begins as a result of the separation. It's an opportunity for you to delve deeper into your spiritual self and understand your place in the universe. Next, we talked about the psychic experiences, the dreams, visions, and intuitive insights. These are not mere figments of imagination, but messages from the universe guiding you on your journey. Our fifth symptom, the yearning and longing, is perhaps the most poignant. It's a constant reminder of your twin flame, a relentless urge to reunite with them. Then we discussed seeing signs and synchronicities. These are not coincidences, but the universe's way of reassuring you that you are on the right path and that your twin flame is still connected to you, despite the physical distance. Finally, we touched on the feeling of being stuck or lost. This is a common experience during the separation phase. But remember, it's not a dead end, but a phase of transformation and growth. Remember, twin flame separation sickness is a sign of your deep connection with your twin flame. It's a painful but transformative experience that leads to personal growth and spiritual enlightenment.